Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. We are trying to get to 4,000 watch hours and 2,000 subscriptions. It's your highly illustrious President Ross, and today we have the statistics from realclearpolling.com. Realclearpolling.com. That is our source. We are not making these numbers up like people accuse us of. Go to realclearpolling.com for the truth of where we are grabbing our numbers from. Washington State, 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. There are a lot of people saying California red for Trump, red for Trump. California is going to be turning for Trump this year. No, it's not. It is still deep blue. Um, it'll be deep blue for years to come. It will eventually probably turn red in the future. Come back to this video when it does turn red because I am a divine prognosticator. Now we got Alaska for three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Now, according to realclearpolling.com, Nevada with six electoral votes has a 1.4 lead by Harris. So Nevada is blue for Kamala Harris. Arizona, according to realclearpolling.com, has Trump in a 1.9 lead. It is red for Donald J. Trump. Now we have Colorado and New Mexico with 10 electoral votes and five electoral votes a piece are blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the state itself, is red for Donald J. Trump. The second district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the tiniest district in Nebraska, the second, is blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Now going on to Hawaii on the bottom left, with four electoral votes, is as always deep blue for Kamala Harris. Some Republicans have been saying, Hawaii red for Donald J. Trump, it's not going to happen. Um, Minnesota... For most of it has been blue for Kamala Harris with 10 electoral votes. So we're going to make it uh, blue for Kamala Harris for Tampon Timothy. Iowa with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wisconsin, according to realclearpolling.com, Harris has a 0.8 lead. So, Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Michigan, to the right of it, according to realclearpolling.com, Harris has a 1.4 lead somehow, even though she wants to remove the automaking industry from there and replace it with electric vehicles. The 15 electoral votes of Michigan are going to Kamala Harris. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Now we have the red wave coming in hot with Indiana 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S -S -I -P -P -I, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with nine electoral votes, Sweet Home, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, not Florida, the singer, with 30 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, according to realclearpolling.com, Trump has a 1.1 lead there. It is red with its 16 electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to realclearpolling.com, Trump has a 
point lead in North Carolina, the 16 electoral votes go to Donald J. Trump. Virginia, with its 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. And Pennsylvania, according to RealClearPolling.com, has once again lowered the lead for Trump, 0.1 point lead in Pennsylvania that is red for Donald J. Trump with its 19 electoral votes. And the rest of the states, except for Maine, Maine on the top right is red for Donald J. Trump. And the first district of Maine is blue to the bottom right of it for Kamala Harris. And the rest are blue for Kamala Harris, including Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, Vermont, New Hampshire, the District of D.C., with four toss-ups left in the um, making. That gives Donald J. Trump 279 electoral votes to Kamala Harris' 255. What do you guys think of this map? Are you happy or are you not happy with it? Let us know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for RealClearPolling.com. Polls almost daily, depending on if they update or not. And our polls from other websites, such as Nick Silverman, Rosumin, and the rest. Baby, who do you want to win? Trump. And why? To make America great. And that's all she wrote. As always, I am your highly illustrious President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Out. Wahoo!